size, you know, because even the Rexes, I have a couple Rex ones that are pretty big, actually. Yeah. And I cross them with the, uh, with the, uh, kill, uh, the New Zealands and the uh, Flemish Giants sometimes, but. Welcome to Homestead Diary. This is Winter and this is Grant. I'm Grant. Uh, we've had Grant over once before and he told us about how we were overfeeding our rabbits. And, um, this time he bought one of his bucks to see if Black Beauty will actually take to one of his bucks more than my buck, Ash. Okay. And then uh, we also have two more rabbits here that we purchased. I don't know if you've uh, seen them. This is Hi, so this is Frost. This is Frost and this is Autumn. Autumn is sometimes a little sweeter than all my other rabbits. It's my sweetest one so far. Yeah, and this one's my buck. He doesn't have a name, but he's real friendly. And uh, I got him probably, I probably had him six months. And I think when I got him, he was probably a few months old. But he, he's one of my two bucks I have. And uh, we'll put him in here and see what he does. Okay. Sometimes they'll breed if you bring them to the doe's cage. I much prefer to bring them to the buck's cage. But sometimes what? it just depends. Well... Yep. Sometimes they, uh, sometimes they, uh, she's definitely yeah, curious. Yeah, and sometimes the, uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think she wants to have him in her cage, so. Well, we'll give them a minute. They'll calm down. Really? Yeah. Wow. They're just really? getting used to each other. That's... Buck and they're... Oh, really? They kind of run in circles a lot when they're breeding, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. This is pretty, uh, she's definitely pretty aggressive, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, Winter. It's okay. This is kind of what we're here to learn. Yeah, it's definitely, mine usually don't run quite as much as, as she is. And you can tell because she's chasing them around that she's an aggressive doe. And sometimes the bucks can actually be a little bit scared of the does almost and they won't breed. It's kind of uh -huh. weird. Uh-huh. Oh, well, well, I would be and pretty I kinda, scared. I kinda noticed, Get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of noticed uh, um, last time that she was kind of fighting with the, the other buck a little bit too. She just seems a little bit aggressive, but. A little aggressive? Yeah. Holy moly. We'll give him a minute. He's, he's definitely not. He's lost some fur. Yeah, Looks I'll like... probably, probably get him in a minute here. And okay. we can see if they'll do better in the outside of her cage. Cause sometimes the does get real territorial on their cages and they'll be very um, aggressive just in their cage. And other does, it just depends on the nature of the doe. Some of them, some of them are real gentle in their cage and then other ones are real territorial. And you can tell she's kind of more feisty, more territorial. And uh, that's why I usually bring them to the buck's cage because they're kind of out of their element. Well, and, and they get real, like I said, territorial in their space. Uh -huh. And they think that that's their, and when someone new comes in there, they they're get like, kind of aggressive. Some oh, of, of course. Them. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that's why we have that other cage out in the yard that we can definitely, uh, and it's enclosed. So it's not the house where they can just yeah. jump out. But if you wanted to, we could bring them both over there. Yeah, that might that see. might work. The house is probably fine, or or that it's probably fine. But okay. I could tell he's a little nervous. So yeah, I'm gonna get him. Uh, oh, a little nervous. He's like, wow, dude. Like Jeez, you just. Buddy. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh. I thought you'd like it, but not really. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Well, but yeah, you see, you're gonna get her. So be very careful, yeah, please. Yeah, she is and a he's little... probably a little. Do you nervous, want me to get her and you? Film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Probably a little nervous too in a new Hi. spot. And Hi, she's baby. probably never been bred before. No. And sometimes the first time is real hard. Like it's hard to get them to actually Hi. work Hi, with the, uh, the box. I can be on this side if you want. And then you can be on this side. Okay. Yeah, sometimes Hi. the first time breeding, it's hard to get them to do Sit. it. And then and after then... that, usually they're a lot more. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetheart. Easy. Hello. I'm not sure he's a little nervous from the ride over, too. Okay. 
Yeah, Don't shut the door. This one's fine in there, and then that. You're probably gonna need to leave the door open for when we put her back. Yeah, we can, we can bring them over there and see if they. You need to help us, Winter. Yeah. Yeah. I can use the gate and stuff. I can shut down the fence. It's not on, right? It is. Oh, this is electric? The other, the yeah. other house, honey, do you think that's better or do you think this one? That one's already out there and I can't get over the fence without some help. And it's probably okay. If we just pull this thing up right here. And okay, you can pull that. It'll probably be okay. If he gets loose, I'm sure I can catch him, so. Okay. Hi, honey. Ooh, that was... It was a little feisty, huh? He's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's a new, new area for him, and I'm sure he was a little nervous there, but neutral territory might be better. Yeah, she's not as upset. Because, uh, like I said, the does get really territorial in their cages sometimes. Mine aren't quite that territorial, but uh, you could tell she's a little more aggressive. Even last time, she was mm -hmm. fighting the buck a little, and sometimes that just gets them thrown off a little bit like but no thank you he's sniffing around and it might take some some time for him so but it's good he's sniffing that's a good sign that's good yeah give him a little time and i'm he might he might try it hi honey yeah i actually bred a couple of my does this morning yeah, just at my house and it depends on the doe. They're very, they're all different, which is kind of weird because um, usually 90% of them, you bring them to the buck's cage and they'll breed. But there's a few that if you bring them to the doe's cage, they're better. I don't know why that well, is. He's thumping, you know, he's saying, hey. Yeah, that's a good I'm a little, I'm a little bit more comfortable here. She's grooming. Yeah. He's thumping, so hopefully. It's good that he's doing that because usually he does that when he's excited or yeah they do it sometimes when they're breeding or when they're about to just be. showing their territory and actually my uh my uh buck uh at home usually i don't even have to be there to watch them because i can just hear them uh when they're done they just let out a loud scream and it sounds like a doe but like I just walk away and do whatever in the yard and when I hear that squeal I know that they're done. Okay. But it probably take them some time, but Okay, well we can kind of say, okay, uh, this might be a better environment and so Yeah, she you can tell she's real territorial and she's a real aggressive girl. But she's doll. very happy here. She's much happier in this location, so well, you can tell she's a pretty aggressive oh, doe too. I hope you have a blessed day.